was two sovereigns. Look, look, I'm not a courtesan. But we are here, and there is a room with a bed and a fire. Now, this gentleman is a duke. He asked for you particularly, and he was told by your theatre manager you would comply. You will pay to be in the room with us while we play. Then you were given the wrong name. Yes, it is. Give her to me. Very well. Your manager sold me the costume you wore when you play the little princess. You will wear it for me tonight. There appears to have been a misunderstanding. Somebody has given you the wrong name. I'm the fucking Duke of Richmond. That bitch is dead. That bitch is on the gallows before mass. Down there. Perhaps now you will listen to me. This diamond, this is yours. I have a man that will take you to Paris, and you will stay there till this business is done. You are a weakness. Atticus. Atticus. So we're talking Taboo Episode 3, and this is a much needed more oomph to this series. I thought this episode really showcased what this the potential that this season or the series was capable of and these interactions between James Delaney with all these characters but not only all these other characters but of his sister now that's one of the main points in this episode which I will get into no spoilers just to let you guys know what I thought about overall this episode and what what happened what i really liked about this episode was the interactions i mean it was james really contemplate like he already is mate he makes a deal he's like he makes a deal in this episode with the u.s the united states because this dude got stabbed and what i really liked about that was the fact that this guy is not immortal he's off as a badass but at the end he's still human and he still got stabbed and he still got the scar and the stitches to prove it united states guy that he was talking in the previous episode episode two stitches him up they he wants to know like he's he has a freaking knife on tom hardy's stomach and he tells james like what is it that you want for this land what is it what do you want i want tea <laughs> This guy wants tea. This guy wants tea and he wants all the tea. That's 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 what he wants. He wants he wants all the tea. He does a lot of things in this episode that really gives the United him some some I mean like very little but some protection from the British uh the British men, the British Empire, the king or whatever. Uh they they can't kill this guy because he does something in this episode which is smart, cunning and makes you really you just don't know you still he's still a mystery james delaney is still a mystery but we're starting to see who he kind of really is because he did bite a guy he did the rick grimes last episode and bite a guy in the neck what i really liked in this episode was the other character that's the newer character i said in last episode was the madame the widow and i really i think i'm really growing a little soft spot on the widow she is entitled to a lot of james's property because of her relationship with his father um and which was interesting what i really liked was his really thinking about his mother i think that's the one thing that we need we need something f to really kind of connect with james we need him to be very vulnerable and he we're sh they're showcasing how vulnerable he could be he could definitely be he could say he has everything everything's like kind of going according to plan he's doing a lot of things to get the ball moving to really stick it to the man but the dude is still human he's getting he's getting shanked he's thinking about his mama but with the widow i really like her not for i mean she's stupid she does a stupid thing in this episode where she doesn't listen plain and simple she doesn't listen she's not really aware of her surroundings she thinks she is but she really 
isn't aware what the fuck's going on. At the end of the day, I think I'm starting to like her character. I mean, especially when there's one particular scene where she's performing, because she is a performer. She's performing, she really loves Shakespeare, she wants to give the crowd a great performance, and this crowd is just really heckling, heckling her. They're really going after her, and she's just yelling at the crowd like, all you guys, if you're gonna wanna wink it, go ahead and pull it off and wink. It's like, oh, let me continue for us who like Shakespeare. And I really did like that line. I really did like that conflict that was going on in that particular scene. That scene was really well done. You kind of learn a little bit more about James's dark demons, little the little mystical kind of stuff, the paranormal kind of stuff, the, the magical kind of stuff. We only get into that a little bit more in this episode, which is... Uh, I mean, don't ask for a lot because it's not going to be a lot, but it's, at least we're getting into what the fuck happened in Africa. What's going on with this guy? There's a great scene with him and his sister and they're in the church and like he because they've been writing back to back and forth like in the previous episodes but they actually are in one scene in the church and i thought that scene was very great very powerful and just really kind of stole i thought almost stole the whole episode because i think what's inter interesting and what's intriguing is the relationship between james and his sister what's that all about and why does she hate him so much speaking of hate freaking her husband just cannot stand James and there's that scene and I think that one takes the cake where he just like fucking he he just goes after this guy this this guy her husband is a real piece of shit what can I tell you he's a real piece of shit but there's a lot of great scenes in this episode that's really just kind of it's done so well the dialogue's done so well the tension's done so well the interactions are just great and the acting is really done so well. the costume the set designs it really feels like you're in another world it doesn't make me feel like i'm watching tom hardy in like a mad max film or this and that just different time periods it really feels like its own world its own characters its own situations that's what i really like about this season this series so far is it still is it getting better? I think it is getting better. I think it's getting a lot better. I don't think it's just boring and just him, what the, us confused all the time. I think now we're starting to open up. Now we're starting to see what this guy wants to do, what he's planning to do, and what he hopes to do. I thought it was the best episode so far of the series. I thought it was really great. I thought it was well done. I thought the direction was well done. Uh, I thought the acting was solid. So overall, great stuff. Love Taboo so far. Thank you guys for listening if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Comment below. Let me hear you guys' thoughts. And you can watch Taboo on Tuesdays at FX. And that is a promotional plug, I guess. <laughs> I'm Dan and Megan Dan's son.